Trace McSorley just got picked up. Yeah, where? I, 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 goes. I thought, where did he go? He, which team took The him? Baltimore Ravens. And this, Ravens is a, him. this is something that, that I talked about in the run-up to the draft, that this is the perfect player as a backup to Lamar Jackson because you can run everything with him. When you've got a creative coordinator as well, like they have there with Greg Roman, I wouldn't be surprised to see them both on the field at the same time. Some teams thought Trace McSorley could end up being a slot receiver. You could do a lot of, 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 of gadget plays, a lot of different things with those two quarterbacks. I love that fit there in Baltimore. And it doesn't have far to go from uh, at home at Home Depot in Ashburn, Virginia. Just a quick ride to Baltimore and play for uh, the brother of a head coach who he's been butting heads with for the last couple of years in the Big Ten. That's a that's a that's a neat pick. This kid he is a home run hitter, figuratively, in that home run swing that he always would have. Tough kid. He he's is that. Kid. And, and so and so. Um, Interestingly enough, so he could run the offense that they run with Lamar Jackson Absolutely. as opposed to last year when they had to switch everything up for Lamar Jackson to be put in there. One note of caution, though, when you do that, you're almost like a college option offense. Everything's got to be close. You can't sit there and say, okay, I'm counting on Lamar, I'm counting on Trace to be those guys to bring me from three touchdowns back. That's the thing you got to keep in mind, and that's the way Baltimore likes to play, but it's still something to keep in mind. Real quick, though, Peter, they can't run Lamar Jackson as much as they did last year. Can't. They can't do that. I did a game for the, the Ravens late in the season for Fox, and it was also on the NFL Network, and we spoke with John Harbaugh about week 16 against the Chargers. And he said, the beauty of Lamar Jackson is that we can draft our team in a way that the 31 other teams will not be drafting their team. We have a quarterback with such a unique skill set that a player that might be high on our board might not even be on another team's board. So then obviously the question start going, it was Mike Tirico, Kurt Warner. We asked, he said, what does that mean for the quarterback position? He says, there's no reason we shouldn't draft another mobile quarterback, a guy who can run the same exact offense and interchange them if we have to. But the guy I keep on thinking about when I see Trace McSorley in that offense, I think of how the Saints use Taysom Hill. You can use them all over the field in a lot of different nice. ways. That's cool. And you can say that, and there you go, another Big Ten quarterback that's, saying, yes, sir. That's a great comparison there because many were talking about, I shouldn't say many, some had said, would Trace McSorley be a safety? Sure. Remember Jordan Lynch out of Northern Illinois a few years ago? There was that conversation. The conversation that Daniel talked about being a slot. So it's a very interesting conversation. All right, let's get the Colts pick. 